Got my coffee. I'm good to go now. A little after eight right now. I woke up probably about an hour ago. This just is a neat place to camp. All these cool rock formations around here. It'd be enjoyable just to explore this area around the campsite. The plan for today is to get out and see what we can do. As we saw when we came into the park last night, there was a notice at the entry station that a lot of the trails that I plan on doing are already closed for the year. So if we could take a look at the map, we can see we started off in Las Vegas. We came here through the Frenchman Mountains, followed the road up along Lake Mead to this redstone picnic area where we did that little hike around and then continued on up into the Valley of Fire. So the plan for today is I do have another map. And so if we take a look at this map, this is just of the Valley of Fire. And so this is where we came in through this way last night. And you can see all these X that marks the spots. And I had a whole list of spots that I wanted to visit today. So I think as far as hikes go, we're out on pretty much most of these up here. I think the only one is Mouse's Tank that is open. And of course, you can check out the Balancing Rock there at the Visitor Center. So we'll probably stick a lot, mostly along the main road here as far as seeing sites. But I, w I do want to take a drive all the way up this road here. This is a pretty nice road to drive, especially this section right here. So the ones here that are out, I know for sure. I don't remember everything. White Dome gets the Black Dot of Death. That one's out. Same with the Seven Wonders. Fire Wave is out. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure about Rainbow Vista. I think that one is out as well. I won't mark it yet. Dead. But I think we can visit Mouse's Tank and then the rest of these we can visit. So we'll just see which ones of these we can visit and just head out here in a couple minutes before it gets too, too hot. Well, so they always say dress for the slide and not the ride. But today, I am definitely, uh, I am dressing for the hike and not the bike. Feel a little bit uh, exposed here in my shorts. Thin shirt. That's a nice campsite right there. Oh, there's a big horned sheep straight ahead. See them? Pretty neat.
exposed area due to extreme temperatures. So I'm just going to do the ride back uh, to Mouse's Tank and we can hike Mouse's Tank. Unless the Rainbow Vista, Rainbow Vista might be open. This is Rainbow Vista. I don't know if I've ever done this one. You know what? Let's check this out. Well, no help from that side. Not so ancient petroglyphs. Okay, change in plans again. So I just did that little Rainbow Vista trail. Pretty good. Toasty warm. And that's what's bringing about my change in plans. So I was gonna do Mouse's Tank next. But what I'm thinking is, right now, I'm going to head over to the visitor center, get myself a cold drink, maybe a bite to eat. It's almost 11 a.m. And then decide what I want to do from there. I might just do all the sightseeing stops, and then do Mouse's Tank first thing tomorrow morning. Or, if I'm feeling energetic, I can come back and do Mouse's Tank today. But it's only going to get warmer and warmer. So... We will see. The first thing, get myself a nice cold drink. Yeah. Mouse's tank is looking busy. There's only four cars when we passed there earlier today. Again, 
The signs aren't much help. I believe this is the Balancing Rock Trail due to that Balancing Rock right over there. All right, got a chance to uh, have a couple drinks, cool down, got a water, get an aloe vera drink, had a Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee drink. All right, so I am gonna head over this way. One thing I've never seen is the petrified logs here. So you check out the petrified logs and then head over to the beehives. Disturb petrified wood. Fenced in enclosure. They put that there so the log doesn't escape. So I grew up in Massachusetts, and every school child that grew up in Massachusetts will tell you they all had the same field trip to go see Plymouth Rock. I mean, I don't know what we were ever expecting to see, but you get there and it's an enclosure, you look down and there's a rock. So here we go. That's a petrified log. But I actually do think this log is a lot more fascinating than that this once was an ocean and a forest and now a desert. So the time that has gone by for the oceans to disappear, for the forest to grow, be destroyed, to become petrified, it's just crazy and just the rock formations here and the geology and the different layers that you can see. It's amazing. Getting busy at the logs. It'll be tough working out in this heat. All right, just around the corner, we should have what they call the beehives. Yes. Very cool. Oh, I, like I never never actually run into anybody and I saw you pull in, I go, shit. Lord, I <laughs> Wait, I gotta ask him about I, how I'm he like, likes it. He's talking to a stranger. He doesn't talk to, oh he's a motorcyclist. <laughs> <Yeah>. Motorcyclists <laughs> are not strangers. No. Yeah, yeah.
beehives. Next is something I think it's called Battle Rock and then Arch Rock. And it's over in the campground area. So I'm gonna head over there, check those out, then head back to the campsite, relax for a little bit, see if there's see if I can squeeze any shade out of the rocks over there. There's an airstream up here. I don't know how they are inside. They're comfortable. But they always look good. Climbing up to the rock. So you can see petroglyphs there. Um, you can also see a lot of petroglyphs on the mouse's tank trail. Basically, the canyon walls are just covered in carvings. But this one, you go up, and then there's just like a little viewing platform where you can see the face of the rock. rock let's find out where this arch rock is because I don't see it yet unless it's just that little arch right there which I'm surprised they would make a whole stop for that since I find lots of those little arches everywhere maybe this one is just the biggest natural arch so am I allowed to climb a rock or not I'm not sure it's my it's not even that big. You'll probably find footprints all over it. Yeah. Yeah. It's an arch. fix my chin mount because it is just the heat just melts the double-sided sticky tape and it's just hanging all right I'm just gonna have to let that camera hang there for a minute there's that airstream they're one of our neighbors tonight I can just point the camera around there's the campsite So, I am back at the campsite. Got a little bit in today, but right now it is about two o'clock. So this is getting into the hottest part of the day. So between two and six, it just gets hotter and hotter and hotter. We can check the map, see which ones we hit, cross those off. 
so on the map right here is where we're camping so this is where we are right now so early today we left went out and then we went all the way up this road until it dead ends and we hit that point where the road was closed so obviously these hikes were all closed then we came down and did the rainbow vista so we did that hike so fortunately i didn't kill that one off on the list so rainbow vista x marks the spot on that one and mouse's tank haven't done yet i'm still trying to decide whether i'll do that one later today or i'll probably wait till first thing tomorrow morning i'm thinking tomorrow morning do mouse's tank then come down do the seven sisters elephant rock before then heading out so then we did come back down here went to the petrified log we went to the beehives and then we just did those two rocks the addle i don't know how to pronounce it addle addle rock and arch rock so we got the uh petrified logs x marks the spot in the beehives the addle addle rock okay and then arch rock oh and then we did see the balancing rock as well so the balancing rock was the one over by the visitor center so on the list mouse's tank we'll be able to see seven sisters elephant rock so really the three hikes that i planned the fireway of seven wonders and white domes so that's just a good excuse to come back and do this trip another time but as for the rest of today like i said i am going to just take it easy here in the shade it's not bad I mean, it is probably 100 degrees here but when you're not in the sun it's not bad i have plenty of water plenty of gatorade just gonna relax chill i have uh my kindle so i can read a book while i'm here and i do have a fan Ooh, i remembered a hammock so I'm curious to see if I could set it up from the rafters of this structure it is steel beams in cement so I'm guessing it should be strong dare I test this out 